Around the turn of the century, Savage was best known for its Model 99 lever action rifle. But in 1907, they introduced the Savage Model 1907, and this gun was really ahead of its time in a lot of ways. And frankly, you could fire 10 shots quick. The 1907 Savage is one of the more interesting collectible firearms of the early 20th century. Savage Gun Company had been around for quite a while, a wide variety of diverse products that Savage was involved in, but the, the semi-automatic pistol uh, was something that they jumped into pretty quick and in fact stole the march on a, on a couple of prominent designers and manufacturers. The 1907, which advertised 10 shots quick in 32 and 45 ACP, was a major advancement in semi-automatic handgun design. The Savage 1907 auto pistol was one of the most successful little pocket pistols of its type developed in, at the beginning of the 20th century. It was derived from a, a 45 version that Savage submitted to the U.S. military for the, the trials, which ultimately adopted the, the Colt 1911. However, they decided, well, they could, they could downscale it and, and make, a, make a nice little handy uh, uh, carry piece, uh, which they did. The 1907 uh, was in 32 ACP. Uh, it was an interesting little, little blowback. It had a, what appeared to be a hammer on it, but the hammer really wasn't a hammer. It was a, an external cocking piece for an actual striker. It dispels fear. It's one of the greatest gun advertisements of all time. And it, it shows a woman popping at obviously a burglar or a home, home breaker uh, with her Savage Model 1907 pistol chambered in 32 ACP. Uh, the gun was designed by Albert Searle. Uh, there's sometimes confusion on the guns being a 1905. They weren't making guns in 1905. That's a patent date, calm down. Uh, but it was actually quite a nice little pocket gun. Uh, very unusual to modern eyes. When you look at this thing, it sort of has, has Coke bottle grips to it. Uh, an interesting point of its construction, and of course it's made almost entirely of steel, for, except for the grips, is there, there are no screws. There are no screws in this gun at all. It all is mechanically locked together, and the grips just have spring clips that hold them in place. Uh, that's why you see them chipped a lot, people trying to get them out. Now this is a gun that was made uh, for, for personal protection, whether it be carried on the person uh, or in the home. And you know, this little Savage, it's all steel, so it's kind of heavy for a 32. Uh, very, very shootable, and not a bad trigger, even by modern standards. This little Savage, it's all steel, so it's kind of heavy for a 32. Uh, very, very shootable, and not a bad trigger, even by modern standards. It, it's kind of got a ray gun look, even though when it was being made, I'm not even sure Buck Rogers was around yet. This is a, a, a gun that has very unconventional lines, but, you know, blowback operated, uh, fairly simple. You know, it uses a, a striker system. What people think is the hammer uh, is actually the cocking piece. So, it, it, very modern gun. We didn't see many striker fired pistols, really, um, you know, until the 1980s. And, and obviously, the Savage 1907 was there first. The other thing that's very interesting about it is that it has a staggered double row magazine. And commonly held beliefs in many circles will tell you, oh, this concept didn't come out until John Browning's 1935 high power. That's the first of the, of the double stack magazine. No, Savage actually did as early as 1907 and it was 10 shots for the 32, but of course with the changing for the cartridge, it's only nine shot for the 380. The 32s are a wonderful pistol. There, there's you know, books written about them, Bailey Brower, uh, a number of uh, authors, and, and they offer a collector a wide variety of firearms, but it's the uh, 1907 45 that's always intrigued me as being one of the the holy grails of u.s martial arms and that's because there were only about 280 less than 300 of these guns made in 45 acp in 1907 for what we call the uh, 
pistol trials. Even though that design didn't work particularly well with the 45 ACP cartridge, it worked remarkably well for some of the smaller cartridges of the day that were popular for personal defense, such as the 32 ACP. And that's what ultimately ended up becoming the most popular chambering for the Savage 1907, because that hesitation system that Searle designed, that, that delayed opening, meant that the slide could actually be made lighter than a lot of the handgun slides found on personal defense guns of the day, simply because those handguns were built with a simple blowback operating system, which meant that the slides had to be built with a certain amount of mass to keep the action closed until chamber pressures dropped. The French actually adopted, adopted the uh, 07 in World War I. Uh, the, the difference between it and the actual standard civilian gun was it had a little lanyard ring on it and it had a cocking indicator. Uh, other than that, uh, it was pretty much the same, and these do turn up because the, the, the French bought about 40,000 of them uh, and, and, and carried them uh, you know, throughout the war. Uh, they do turn up, and um, actually the one we're looking at today is a French military issue gun.